April 20th, 2023, Marcus Giovanni here. Kelly Bra, Colorado Politics for Denver Right News, GP7A. When you understand um, the truth in regards to highly advanced algorithms where I come up with this information so that if I was in the HR department, Kelly would be the least likely person to get hired for a position. And when you understand also the um, most trusted news sources that are now the least most trusted is Fox News and CBS. And uh, Denver Gazette, they're from Colorado Springs. They also own the Gazette. They all use the same writers from Colorado Sun, Dumb Variety. I don't know which one's which because they're all the same. And the 5013 Cs, they're going in a whole new direction after this next election. <clears throat> because what's going to happen is there's some investigators, and I'm saying this because these people are already in the, they're already in the system. Anyways, Denver mayoral candidate looks ahead. You see all this? CBS, same people. There's us, loser. Kelly Bro, City Summits of America, they already know. Everybody in this organization, everybody is, they already know. And if they're telling you they don't know, they're lying to you. Because our content is made as inverted pyramids. Our, our information is right here. You don't even have to click on it. See? When you do Super Administrator by Mayor by Marcus Giovanni, you'll see Kelly's face in there because... Ballotpedia, another corrupt 5013C, which we're going to sue and when these elections are over. Um, we're going to shut them down. We will shut them down in Wisconsin. And they're going to see with the power of AI. But first, we're just going to build content. We're just going to just take them out by the fucking ankles. And then the knees. Then the waist. Then the chest. And the neck and the head will self implode. And when you think about Wellington Webb right here, former Denver mayor, Wellington Webb, he's so outdated. He is so outdated. And, and the thing about him, and he endorsed uh, Leslie Harrod. She's a loser. So now he's going to go into another loser. And this is how you know that he picks losers because he's outdated. And, and what he's seen the city do um, to Mayor Spear, they're gonna, they're gonna do the same thing to him when he goes, when all this shit hits the fan, but he won't see it. He won't, be, he won't see it, he's seeing it now. But when that happens, he'll be gone, just like Mayor, Mayor Spear and all the mayors and, but. Denver's got a good little little trick going on right now. And every city council member was worthless. They're all indexed. And so when you think about Kelly, look at this. I own that. I met a human man. This is a trip down Kelly Lane. I own Denver City Council Districts. I own 5280 Denver. I own Colorado Politics. Denver City Council Districts. GP7A Attorneys. I own that too. Marcus Giovanni, Observer Indexer. I am not, I repeat, I am not a writer. I am not, I authored a book, but I'm not an author. I'm just telling my story my way, the only, only way I can. And that's what makes it organic. That's what makes it interesting. That's what makes it, I own Wizard Knows All Tells All. There's the former Denver May, way in the back, get in the back of the queue with the loser. See, when you understand how to read this stuff, number three, okay, ha YouTube handles by Marcus Giovanni. That's me. I've been doing YouTube handles before they even announced they were going to have YouTube handles. So anybody that has a YouTube channel, they know they were getting those messages that they're going to get it, that they're going to be issued a handle. I knew this 10, 12, 13 years ago. And I've been building content ever since. That's how badass of a mayor I would have made, but I don't 
wanted, I didn't want to be married. I didn't want to shave. I don't want to give up my music career that I haven't even started yet. I got the music. We got fucking three albums. Um, Kelly, let's build a better future together. I own futuredenver.com. CBS, Ke Kelly, bro, one of the leaders in the Denver, one of the leaders? There's only one leader. This is the bullshit. And then she got the, Kelly's all about uh, signs and you know, the little hearts she's making. Oh, Kelly was very, see, she steals everything from everybody. Like she just, oh, she put a heart on her heart. Even if she's mayor or Mike Johnson the mayor, you're going to have the same people. Okay, so when they say, oh, they're moderate, they're the same fucking people, man. They've been working together for years. They're just pretending they're not. But Kelly has other people like David Kenny, who's going to end up taking over Denver and they're going to get all the real estate people in because that's what Kelly does is create things. Right. That's what they said. But she's a quitter. They're in verified quitter. And this is what Denver voters don't understand, that their vote is going to be held accountable. And Kelly thinks she's going to be able to talk her way, bullshit her way, when everything's going to remain the fucking same because she's the same as everything else. And that's why M Mayor Hancock could have been made into the same people. It's going to be the same fucking thing because Kelly Bro is a pig with red lips. She's a bloviator, outdated quitter. She quit um, snow plowing to go blow head snow over there at Hickenlooper's office and they're all Hickenlooper came in on a brown scooter and he said I'm gonna eradicate the homeless and everybody like, yeah jumping out of the airplane did you see that guy Hickenlooper jumping out of the plane I'm voting for him man he's a go-getter fuck you guys wasted 20 fucking plus years man under Hancock. We won't even talk about Hickenlooper. Let's go to base to Ray Four. Colorado politics. That's me. That's my channel right there. Kelly Bow, City Summons of America by Marcus G. Loser. Look at this. Now people are starting to back my content. This is not me, folks. Those are people that are starting to realize they're pushing the content that pushes truth algorithms and it pushes the false algorithms to the dark web. And I've been warning these people and you think they call up, hey Giovanni, you know, come on, no man, fuck you Giovanni, fuck you Republicans, fuck you independents, fuck all you people that aren't Democrats. And the Democrats for 60 years have been going hoorah, ha, 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 hoorah, ha, 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 right? Like, fuck you, this is our town, this is our Denver Democrat picnics, and all their words were indexed. And see, their IT people don't have any balls, because they all fucking suck. And so now they're just lying to their people, oh, he just, nobody's looking at his stuff, you are. And you went, when you did, you just told Google that I had enough authority for your attention. To where me, I don't click on nobody's shit unless I want to really index them. But that would require them, me, clicking on things. Well, I don't. But when you think about Ballotpedia and you think about Wikipedia, those are the two most corrupt 5013Cs in the city and county of Denver, and they're not even from here, and they're taking all kinds of fucking money. One's taking it back to their cheese factory in Wisconsin, the other one, they're in Southwest Africa somewhere, taking it to their country. Now they're not even United States citizens, and United States citizens buy their fucking political bullshit. They're corrupt, see? If I was mayor, we'd be getting some big dollars from them. And so I'm still going to be mayor of my, what I do, City and County of Denver, LLC. I'm the mayor for that. Did you know that? Non-political mayor, non-government mayor, non-governmental platforms. And they're designed so that if they implode, oh my goodness, because they already are trying to do their whoop de woo You know, go ask Christian Bronson, city attorney, to, to quit. Resigned. People getting tired of it, man. And now it's there. she's lucky she quit, man. She's lucky she resigned. Because when you think about Kelly Bro and her really career, when you, when you take... When you look at both of them, 
when you when you vote for Kelly, you get all her friends. Mike Johnston hasn't created any friends, evidently. There's something wrong with 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 Mayor Webb uh, supporting a white dude um, for anything. I don't know if he ever has. So I didn't look that deep into his thing, but everything he does is based on race, gender, and sexual appetites. And he doesn't understand because he's old. He's outdated. What he did in the past has no bearing of our future anymore. And then when he keeps hitting these people that are gonna spread like with Leslie Herrick, when he picked her, he sucked more of his, all the growth that he built and all the Mayor Webb stuff that he did. And the, the, they built, you know, and when you think about the back end story about how they all planned for Le Leslie Herrick to be mayor, um, they already knew all their conversations. I could show a judge. It's all been already preordained. The statue, the statue, and everybody start looking about Mayor Webb, and most kids don't even know who he is because they don't teach anybody anything, even their own kids, because they got to keep them snow blind too, and always needing help, and always being the victim, and nobody's ever going to make it except the ones they pick to join the Democrat Party, the entertainment party, the business parties, all their parties and all the controls that they do, it's over. It was my gift to the citizens of Denver. I'll go down as a nobody piece of shit because that's the way these people treat me. When in fact, it's the opposite. They're the pieces of shit. And that, and that digital hammer, that, that digital God that's coming, he's got a digital that's gonna be so large and shove it up your asses and you won't even know what hits you. But the good news is all you gotta do is get off the internet and you'll be live a perfectly happy life into a non-existent digital world, which, to tell you the truth, is not a bad thing. I wish I had that. I wish I never got on the internet. I wish I never gave my kids to, to their cell phones when they were little. And I've learned a lot. And when you learn things, and you see things that, what I've learned that other people are learning too, and we see that our school, our children are getting fucked up in the head, and voters keep voting for the fucked up in the head. That's how you know it's a god, man. Do you really think that those people who voted for Hitler, who killed 11 million people, do you think those people are going to go unpunished? Hey, you voted for a guy that killed 11 million people. Well, I didn't know. Ignorance of the law, you should have known. See? But how far do you know about somebody? My, my life's an open book with the police, with the government, with everybody. And it's amazing because of all the shit, there's no law enforcement anywhere that ever said I lied to him because I never lied to him. Ever. And my dad used to tell me, son, if you're ever going to lie, if, if you're ever going to tell the truth, don't ever lie to the police or to the courts. Because once they catch you in a lie, you're done. Even in the military, once you're branded a liar, one, what, one lie. And he told me because he knew, because he had, when he died, before he died, we got to talk. It was the saddest talk I ever had in my entire life, man. Because I love my dad so much, man. He was the most awesome man in the entire world that happened to be Irish from Brooklyn, New York. And I sure adopted the Irish attitude of don't quit. The Nelson way of handling his enemies, you know, straight into it. My dad was related to Nelson Rockefeller. <laughs> That's what people thought back in school. And Charles Nelson Riley. Are you related to Charles Nelson Riley? That's his middle name. Nelson Rockefeller is his first name. Are you people that stupid? That's people in school, man. They actually believe that. That's when I realized that there's more simpletons than they are. And the, and the simpletons are the ones that all vote the wrong way. They're the ones that don't have anything. They're the ones that want everything. They're the ones that don't want to work at anything. They're the ones that don't want to do anything. They're the ones that just want to play. They're the ones that just want to smoke. 
The other ones just don't want to drink. Nothing wrong with that if you do it in moderation. There's people that smoke weed, drink, get up and go to work every day, raise a family. And they die when they're 90. They smoke cigarettes, they smoke weed, they drink, they eat bacon and eggs. And they live their life their way. And if people didn't like it, he just didn't go around those people. So, anyway, so when you think about lying and everything that these people are doing, uh, just to try to stay in power, the power they seek is an illegitimate power. Here's future Denver. Kelly was saying things, you know, about the promises of Denver. There's James Mejia, another piece of shit fucking man. I don't like him at all, man. Every one of these guys that ran, I watched every one of them that ran for mayor all get jobs. They can't do anything fucking else. And when you Google search like Mejia, he uses other people's names. He's he's a slick mo, man. But but I but AI's on to him, and now he's running the strategic um, uh, office that Kelly Bro got eight month. Uh, internship uh, that made $150,000 that she left a $474,000 job because all of a sudden this one job came out and she thought, oh, well, I'm going to take this job. It's all bullshit. Kelly Bro is the biggest fucking liar. She's the head blower of all blowhards, man. And she's a pig with red lips and all the people that replaced her. Look, at I own this right here. And the city and county of Denver tried shutting me down. That's another city attorney I battled you won't hear about. And see, if I close this shit down, I'm telling every judge in Denver, that will be the biggest mistake that any of you ever make. Because that is something that is the foundation of everything I've been talking about. You've been shutting everything down so far. On February 6th, they shut down. Are you listening to me? On February 6th, there was an emergency hearing, and Andrew, jo Andrew Luxon ruled in favor when I asked about the Spear Amendment, where we were supposed to be a non-political government, where, where we, where um, uh, service, um, and that's all I gotta say. But when you understand that, the future of Denver, man, Look at that. People's using my... This guy here, Sean Williams. Bitching. Spreading that news, man. I don't even know the guy. See, he's, on. he's, he's joining the digital dome. Because then you get rid of that shit. That shit gets pushed to the back. Look at that. This is all my stuff. There's no Kelly. Except what I'm talking about. Because she's a piece of shit. You know? Believe me, folks. I sleep with one eye open. I don't have to grip my pillow tight. I am very in tune with my surroundings. My neighbors are all in tune. We, they all got their cameras on. And we, we just lock down at night and we lock down in the daytime. So we know everything is coming and going. We don't have yard signs in our yard telling everybody that we're anybody. We don't put nothing in our fucking yards. We don't even put um, political signs in our yard. Those people that do that, they're the ones that, that tell everybody who they are. And now they know where they live. Stupid man, because it's gonna get to that. When, when when they don't teach our children how to sustain or stay at home or obey authority, because authority ain't gonna do anything. Because the police, this guy here in his tent, he died, he froze to death. You don't hear that. You didn't hear any of the politicians because they don't go around here. Oh, Kelly, uh, I think Mike Johnston's trying to do, it, but I already did that. They're just repeating this shit I did, and they and they they got all kinds of people around them. They don't go in there by themselves because they get beat up and jumped. You look at Mike Johnson. What is he going to do? That's why I know these guys are bullshit. Kelly Bro ain't going to walk around there at 2 or 4 o'clock in the morning. she get fucking jumped. They'd beat the fuck out of her. Take her shit, take her clothes, and leave her there naked. Mike David Kenny goes and picks her up in the Uber. <sighs> I mean, these people have no clue what's coming. So when they... Look at this. There's no... Eight pages. Let's go. Let's go nine. Let's just keep going. Boom. Rudy Mayer. Thank you. Thank you. 2014. People know, man. People. I've been talking about this shit for fucking years, and on and on February 6th, 
assistant attorney, Michelle Horn, just like her last name, blasted with glee when I asked Judge Luxon about the Spear Amendment. He's a Democrat. And when he got all sloppy kisses with her, telling them, oh, we're really proud of you all, all five coming in. He didn't say five. I'm just telling you how many were there. There's five of them. Three city attorneys and one other guy, and then Todd uh, Davidson, Mr. Miserable, looking at his face. I fuck, I look at that guy. I go, man, I thank God I'm not you, man. You're a miserable looking fucking soul. But I didn't say none of that to him. I just needed to hear what happened to the Spear Amendment that the media, CBS, NBC, ABC, Denver Post, Colorado um, Politics, Joey Bunch, another short man, Sidro Punk. I got, man, I, I, I don't loathe too many people, but I loathe him, man, because he's such full of shit. Uh, Patricia Calhoun, another garbage fucking pale kid. They've ruined fucking Denver, man, and now they're old. They have no clue, man. They can't. Oh, we're going to go higher. I'm going to write a story. On June 6th, either vote puts Denver at an illegitimate government. Because Michelle Horn, city attorney Michelle Horn, blasted with glee. We haven't enforced that law in years. And if you read my complaint... I told the judge about all the stuff I'm talking about now. It's in code. It looks like gibberish, but it's written in it's very scientific code. And anybody that knows code can read that and go, man, this guy, this is code, man. He's not talking to, he's not talking to the court. He's talking to artificial intelligence. He knows how to communicate with artificial intelligence. You better vote for Mike Johnston. Because after two years, he ain't going to want to be mayor. And then Denver will hit the most lowest bottom as they possibly can. But these clowns are clowns, man. And everything that they do, everywhere they go, all their text message, everything. And so what happens is we have different alerts for different things. And this is what we're teaching law enforcement. <clears throat> because you can set up different alerts using highly advanced algorithms. So if a group of, if a person's talking about a certain topic that you need. And I'm going to give law enforcement those that are scared to, to try to work with somebody like me um, because they believe the paper they see. And, and what they don't understand is they're probably bullies too, man. So, you know, I, I got an app that we can uh, take every police agency's uh, suspected bad people just by citizens coming and saying, man, that guy put me on... Put me on gunpoint. You know how many times I've been pulled over at gunpoint? Not very often because I don't have a car in my name. I will never be able to own a car in my name. That's how conditioned the law enforcement are. And see, I, I believe in law enforcement, but I, I love many of those officers that, are, that have idiosyncrasies that we can now catch based off of their just different things they say. It's amazing. Uh, where they wouldn't be police officers. But right now, we're nobody good wants to be a policeman, and we're just going to end up getting um, uh, gangbangers to be policemen. And we'll have gangbanger police, and we'll go back into the 20s, and we'll have to wait for a St. Valentine's Day massacre to get back into what the FBI used to be.